Hey there YouTube, um, just a quick video here on um, my arcade machine that I've maimed. Um, I did it via the uh, JPAC system, which is a really good bit of kit and I'd suggest anybody that is thinking about converting their arcade machine into a main machine, it's definitely worth the 50 quid or whatever for it. I mean, it's just saved me a whole load of hassle, I didn't have to cut into any of the wires. Uh, the only wire that I had to cut into was uh, this was originally set up for uh, Mortal Kombat 1 uh, so it had the extra um, had the extra uh, buttons on there so I had to cut them and just but basically it just wired straight up into the board uh, the only thing I would say about the JPEG system is this is that I didn't think on the on the website where I bought it from and a lot of the information that I've that I've seen it doesn't really say too much about the VGA sort of side. Now the VGA adapter that's on the that's on it is basically just an interface for you to connect your VGA cable up to. It doesn't affect any resolution, it doesn't downscale to uh, the 15 kilohertz. So you, you've really got to bear that in mind because the program that you're gonna need to use is soft 15 kilohertz and for an order for order for that, that to work you can also need a a uh, compatible graphics card. And the graphics card that I was originally going to use in this was a GeForce 8. Uh, I tried plugging it in, won't work, and uh, it said that I needed a dongle. So I mean, I got chatting to my next door neighbour, and luckily he had an old, old PC in his loft, and he said I could have it. And in that, it had uh, an ATI graphics card, which works perfect with soft 15, 15 kilohertz. So just bear that in mind. If you're going to use the original arcade monitor the graphics card that you're going to use from your PC must be compatible with 15 kilohertz because like I say the, the JPAC doesn't do anything it's just basically just gives you the interface to to add to to connect your PC to so I'll just quickly show you around the back and then I'll go into more detail about the JPAC move it out of the way well just quickly this is a a Unigames um, arcade machine it's oh, it was a steal on on the internet. I got it off eBay for like fifty quid, cause the person had written it wrong. <laughs> but yeah, I'll show you around the back. A bit dark. Just turn the light on. So yeah, as you can see, original monitor there, made in nineteen eighty six, no less. So yeah, there's my PC, my hard drive, and then the power to the to the monitor and everything and there you go there's the JPAC all connected up I've not quite tied it up around here just yet so as you can see there's your interface there for the VGA which you know just connects straight in no problem but uh, one thing I did notice on someone else's um, on someone else's uh, YouTube clip when I was doing some research into the JPAC was that they weren't getting any lights these um, these lights same about your VGA signal and the test signal. Now what the guy hadn't done was that he hadn't connected in this lead here which goes to the motherboard to the keyboard side. Now that is really important because it provides power to the to the um, JPAC adapter itself. So if you've not got that plugged in you're not going to get your your lights and you're not going to get your test light. Now that said even without it powered up it does still work but you just don't get these test lights because um, really it doesn't need any power going to the to the JPAC to do anything because like I said previously the VGA side is not actually doing anything it's just a connector that goes from your VGA cable here into your harness it doesn't upscale it doesn't do anything basically what's happening is is that, you know this little EPROM chip here is basically just testing the signal to see that yes we're getting a signal and yes it's acceptable for the monitor that we're using and that and that, that's all it does really and uh, as you can see here my extra few wires that were on the uh, Mortal Kombat 1 extra few buttons uh, so yeah I mean really straightforward to use as you can see there got my uh, motherboard all in it does need a good tidy up in here though I need to sort these wires out a little bit better now back there you can see my keyboard which you can get access from from the uh, coin, from the coin door. So yeah, I mean, really good bit of kit. 
the J Pack is. I couldn't recommend it enough. It really has saved saved me the hassle of cutting into my wires, which I didn't really want to do. Plus, as well, it's uh, it's really really handy that you know it's still if I ever wanted to change it back to the to a a a, a, um, a jammer a jammer game. You know, it's there, and I couldn't. I just unplug it and away I go and back to the jammer so I've not really you know altered the machine that much I mean the the mechanism that's holding the motherboard in is the original mechanism that was holding the uh, that was holding the jammer board in so you know and I've just loosely put the hard drive there and the power supply I got a nice decent power supply to provide lots of um, decent current and also you know got a really big fan on there cooling everything down so yeah I mean I think that's about all I can say really about the the J pack I mean, by all means message me if you if you've got any questions but it really is pretty straightforward other than the fact is you've got to bear in mind that the that the VGA side of it doesn't actually do anything it's not converting any signal or anything like that now I'll just go back to the front Turn the light off. Now, the system that I wanted to use on here was uh, Maximus Arcade, but it's it's rubbish. I mean, I don't like to say much about programs or anything, but I spent a good two weeks trying to trying to get it to work with Mame, and it would not have it. And it would play the game no problem. Uh, you'd come to quit it, and it just it just won't quit. It, it, you'd get a black screen, which I read on the internet was was due to uh, the escape key being the same as Mame. So I changed it all, did nothing. Still had the same problem, and and uh, as far as I can tell, it's an ongoing problem that it's never going to be sorted out. I think the last update on the actual Maximus Arcade website was in 2010, so two years ago. So the the one I've gone with now is Marla and it's oh it's brilliant, you know, really really easy to use. You can change the the skins really easy and it's free as well. So I mean for me Marla was the way to go. And uh it looks nice, don't get me wrong, I, I prefer the look of Maximus. It's really not you know Google it and you can see the screens for yourself, it really is a nice interface but it's just a pain, it's just un unbelievably rubbish to use. So really not happy with it. So I'll just quickly, you know, look, just quickly go through them so you can see like it comes up comes up all the same. I'd like to have a video but I don't want to put too much stuff on the hard drive for the for the PC, I just want to keep it as as easy as possible. So I'll, to to start on, on this it's just player one and then you see starting up say where it's perfect show you back here look I've got me just turn the light back on again yeah I got my keyboard and mouse in the behind the the coin mechanism it's really handy space to have, you know, it's not near any live wires or anything like that. The back of the monitor's there, it's got the shield on, so I'm not going to let you keep myself or anything like that, which is good. So I'll just quickly put some credits on. Like, you can cheat on this, you just press the, the back, or I could have just pressed the keyboard, but I was feeling lazy. Okay. Yeah, I mean, really good, really nice interface, all works fine. It's going to be really hard to play one-handed. If you can get one punch in, I'll be happy. Oh, no, no chance. Oh, there we go. Oh, I tried to do a fireball. But, now nah, any, any uh, questions you want to ask me or anything like that, and I'll... Try and answer them as best I can. So yeah, thanks for watching.